today I'm going to show you how to create two different looks using the Wet n Wild palette Comfort Zone. This is actually a newer version of it. They've actually changed the formula and added some shadows. So let's try it out. First thing that you'll notice is there's two transition shades in this palette. So we're going to start off with the darker of the transition shades on a blending brush and work this over and back in the crease of the eye. Try not to blend this up too high because I want to take the second transition shade and use this to blend out the first one. So what we basically have here is a mid-tone blended out with a fade shade. And this will give us a beautiful soft fade in the crease. However, whenever we're blending in the crease, we always take a clean blending brush just to soften out any harsh lines, particularly when you're using two different shades. Next, we're gonna take the dark purpley pink tone. And this actually went on really dark. I did not expect it to be so black. It looks more kind of purpley pink in the palette. But it went on really nicely. But I did have to then take my blending brush just to soften out any harsh lines because it was almost too compact that it didn't give me that nice fade. So I went back in with my dirty blending brush that I used in the crease. And then Pebbles had to just pop in and say hello. I wanted to lighten up this look so I took a little bit of concealer and I just cut the inner to kind of two thirds to half of the lid. And while that concealer was still slightly damp, I then took the lighter shade, the lighter pink shade, and I just tapped this over the top of it. But then we had a very harsh line between the light and the dark. So what I took is the first darker transition shade, and I used this as a fade shade. So I tapped this in between the light and the dark, and then just blended it into the dark on the outer edge. And that way you end up with a softer sort of effect from light to medium to dark. Once I applied my false lashes, I then took the lighter shade from the palette and I tapped this on the inner corner and also underneath the brows. And there you go. It's sort of like a plummy, smoky eye. I actually really liked it. I was a big fan of the original Comfort Zone, but I think I prefer this one. For the next look, we're going to use the green. So I'm going to start off with the lighter of the transition shades because I like peaches and greens together. I don't feel like the other transition shade quite works with greens. So we're going to blend this over and back in the crease of the eye. We're then going to take the darker green and apply this all over the lid. So very similar to the first look that we did. Kind of that same concept. But this time I actually cut the center of the crease. And I popped over the green. And basically what we ended up with is a lighter center where the green was going to be really pigmented. And then we blended over everything. So I basically cover the lid in this one shadow and the center is going to look really green and the edges are going to look a little darker green. So you're going to have slightly different tones. Finally, I finished off with the green shade working this underneath the eye. I'm not usually such a fan of green, but I kind of liked this one. I feel like it's a very universal green that would suit a lot of people's complexion. Let me know which kind of combination that you've tried or if there's any other combinations that you love. I really want to try out that kind of bluey tone next, so I'll definitely let you know if I do a video on that and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe and check out the other videos on the screen.